Hello, welcome to Crystal Core Skills. Uh, this video is designed to actually summarize uh, geometry. Um, I'm really sorry, I'm just going to uh, write everything uh, naturally because mathematics is obviously a natural science. Geometry, so that you can can have the the feel and, and the sweetness of mathematics um there are a lot of uh definition on the internet regarding geometry uh, you can go on the internet try to find the best uh, definition as possible as you can and there are many books out there that you can also read to gather the information about geometry from but unfortunately uh my Actually, my teaching style is not going to be based on those resources because of my background. Um, the school I went to actually did not value those uh, resources from those sources. So uh, our learning actually were basically uh, based on research work. Uh, everything was from the experiment straight and then we learned them practically so that's why i'm not going to uh, go with most of these resources out there but they are quite really good if you go and try to have a look at them um i like writing obviously um that also is linked to my background because I, i'm from the jungle <laughs> sorry about that I, I never went to nursery or study in the best institution like some of you guys um you know my classroom was under the tree and uh, the ground or the the floor used to be my best book and the piece of sticks uh, used to be my best pen so i'm used to writing and uh, I'm, I'm really happy to share this experience with you guys so that's why natural naturally i like writing and mathematics became part of my life from the jungle oh let's get going geometry so According to geometry, um, let us see the definition of geometry. Yeah, geometry is a study of uh, shape, lines. Just take that line out because line is part of the shape. Line, uh, surface, um, yeah, from the surface, you can go to size and position so yeah that's the definition of geometry the study of shape surface sizes and position so what do we know about geometry or what does geometry tells us geometry tells us that any point any point can be modeled as an object and when two points are linked together, they form a line. So according to geometry, or according to the geometry, a line can be defined by two points. Geometry also tells us that for any line, for any line, if we have one point outside that line, which means that the point is not along that line. There could be many other lines passing along this point, but there's exactly one line that passes through this point, which is parallel to the original line. So this line is parallel to the original line, and we can only have one of them. According to the geometry also, any line segment, sorry, any line segment, that is the difference between two points, any line segment can be extended without, without end or infinitely. That means that you can start from this point and keep on drawing this line until the kingdom come or you can stand from this side keep on drawing it that way 
until the end of the universe <laughs> if there's any <laughs> yeah so that's what geometry tells us about lying now what can we learn from this line surely we know that if we know a point and if this point can be modeled as an object we can use line to learn about the motion of this object or particles in the air which can move in any direction and the motion of the particle can be modeled as lines or vectors if you like so if you have many particles in the air so each particle will at least move to some direction which is defined by vectors and the path of their motion can be learned by using line that is how line help us also we know that when two lines intersect at any point yeah two lines when they intersect at any point they will form some sort of angles so that's the power of line geometry also tells us that any circle can be drawn at any point with any radius for example this is a circle we can just choose any radius of the circle or you can have a point there and we draw a circle at that point like that passing through that point and extend a line from that one that point to the radius uh, to the center of the circle and this one is center this one is our radius up and there so that's what geometry tells us about circle and geometry also tells us that a circle like this can be used to define any angle for example if you have a circle with the center here you can draw a line crossing one another we know that we have that angle there or you can add more line you know that you have an angles there or you can use the outer circle to define the angle there So, any angle can be found by circle and the distance all around the circle or the angle all around the circle is equivalent to 360 degrees. So, angle, so, a circle can help us to define any angle but there's more to do with circle than that and we are going to look at it later. Now, these are the most important features of geometry. And geometry also tells us that any right angle, this is a right angle, that is a right angle as well, this is a right angle as well, that one the right angle as well, that one is a right angle as well. So geometry tells us that any right angle is equal. So that one is 90 degree, 90 degree, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. So the most common features of geometry are lines, angles, and circles. But the giant feature that we are going to look at, which has more functionality is the circle which will explain all these two and that will be discussed in our next video thank you for viewing i hope this has been informative to you and see you next in the next video